hello everyone in this video we are going to see how we will install elk stack using docker so basically i need to create a docker composer file and uh, I, I will make docker compose up to make all all elk stack to work so let's see how it's going to work so i need to create a docker compose.yaml file initially so what i'm going to do is right now i'm in my home folder i'm going to tools in here i guess i have elk so i'm going to elk right now and inside elk i'm going to create my file docker combos dot yaml okay so right now the file is okay right now and i need to create a version name so uh, yeah version is the first one so i'm just mentioning like two or something then services that's the important part services and here i need to have a okay yeah actually i have something because i need to yeah yeah i need to yeah there is some issues here because the tab should be exactly same then only this will work so what i'm going to do is i will take my visual studio code and i will type on that so i am creating a file new window and insert uh, to open file file open open then i have tools here and elk is here and i have my docker compose file so right now i am just mentioning services and i need to have tab here where i am giving my service name dash check search then i need to have image tab image okay actually what one thing i will do i will copy from internet so i can save some time Articles deploying Spring Boot Part One. Okay, so I have everything here. Just copy from here to my Compass of file. So this all regarding the Docker Elastic. Okay, Elastic Cabana, everything is here. So we just okay. So right now we are done. Can close this. And I'm going here. 
you need to make it compose up. So how I would do that? Docker compose. So during that time, I can go to the Docker file that I use. So here. So we are selecting the image from Docker and here we are assigning port 9200 and 9300 also and uh, I have Kibana installed on 5601 and we are mentioning its dependence on Elasticsearch so there will be a connection between these two containers and uh, here I am mentioning this should be in 28526 and uh, log stash depends on elastic search so how this pipeline works I mean I will, I will get logs from my microservice into log stash and it depends on elastic search And it will send uh, the logs into Elasticsearch. And uh, here, what is the dependency is Kibana is a graphical representation of logs that I uh, got from different microservices. So it depends on Elasticsearch. So here, Logstash depends on Elasticsearch because Logstash is sending log to elastic search so we can go to here right now where exactly the yeah here still it's processing it will take some time download already completed and uh, right now it's building that image so just wait to complete everything so right now log stash so this uh, last piece actually log stash I mentioned on the last step so it will be the last container Okay, right now keep on uh, elastic search, everything is up. Okay everything done how I will test this so I am going here I can see my Kibana is 5601 so 
so I can try that port here localhost 5601 okay right now my application works perfectly you can see everything but right now I didn't have any data so I need to make the index available for Elasticsearch or Kibana that I will do later so only thing that we need to remember is this is the easiest way to install in a e ELK stack just check docker file is fine then after that we need to create an index pattern we need to go more on uh, elastic search to then so that's all for this video thank you for watching